My name is Rich Carvajal. I'm a medical oncologist at Columbia University Irving Medical Center, where I oversee the melanoma program as well as the experimental therapeutics program. Well, cancers that go to the liver um, are extremely challenging to treat. You know, if we look at any cancer, whether it's pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, uveal melanoma, skin melanoma, if it goes to the liver, it is invariably harder to treat. Overall survival that we see in these patients is inferior uh, to patients who don't have liver disease. So Trisalis tries to address these challenges in two very unique ways. One, it has a technology um, called a pressure-enabled drug delivery system through this TriNav catheter when it can use pressure to infuse any sort of drug or therapy into the, into the liver, into the tumor. Um, and that allows for greater saturation of the organ as well as the cancer with whatever drug needs to be infused. The second piece um, is that they um, specifically address the immunosuppressive microenvironment of the liver um, by using a drug called SD-101. So SD-101 is an investigational drug. It's a, a class C toll-like receptor 9 agonist that really functions to do a few things. One, it activates the good cells of the immune system, those cells that are trying to kill off the cancer. And it suppresses some of the bad cells, um, such as these immune cells like the myeloid-derived suppressor cells. These are cells that actually impair the ability of the immune system to kill cancer. Trisalis has a series of clinical trials now looking at their pressure-enabled drug delivery system, uh, a drug called SD-101, which is a toll-like receptor 9 agonist, uh, in combination with checkpoint blockade in patients with various cancers, including uveal melanoma, hepatocellular carcinoma, liver cancer, and intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. So the data that we've seen thus far from these trials are extremely exciting, um, albeit early. So what we're seeing is that um, treatment with SD-101 is able to do the things in the liver that we expect to see. That is, we're seeing activation of the immune system, we're seeing suppression of the bad immune cells, these myeloid-derived suppressor cells. In the periphery, we're seeing activation of the immune system. And all of this is dose-dependent. The more SD-101 is delivered, the greater the effect that we're seeing. Along this clinical trial program, we're collecting something called circulating tumor DNA, which is a marker of tumor burden. Um, and very intriguingly, we're seeing suppression of circulating tumor DNA um, in some of the patients that we're treating with this combination therapy. And so I think, you know, if this continues, the safety, um, the biologic activity, consistent with immune activation, anti-tumor effects, we're very hopeful that we'll see meaningful clinical benefit in the patients treated on this program.